She's a Ukrainian national champion. Our second semifinal is going to be a corker from uh, Turkey. World number nine, Nisanor Erbil. And from Russia, world number four, Daria Drozd, the highest ranked fencer remaining in this competition today. And our officiating crew, Fikrat Valiev of Azerbaijan, Tamim Gezi of Egypt, Kenichi Sasada of Japan, and Andrea Dwana of Romania. She's been very busy all day today. And those are our referees for the semifinals. So first up, it's going to be Jeon Hae-young of Korea. She took out Honor Johnson in the quarterfinals from the USA. Um, then in the 16, it was Sevinch Ismailova. Uh, let's see. Anastasia Shurakova in the 32. And she started the day against Mahalik of Belarus. So she has had an excellent day today. Um, Proshenko has had a very strong day. She took out world number three, Natalia Boteo of Mexico. Uh, Marlene Voitenhaus of the Netherlands in the 16. Uh, Zinya Kina in the 32. And Levy Venegas of Colombia in the round of 64. We haven't had much of a look at Gion today. We have seen some of Proshenko, but as you know, we've had a, a very strange day here. We were originally only allowed to show the semifinals and finals. We were able to negotiate the round of eight into today, and if all goes well, we will be able to start from the 16 tomorrow. But um, we know that this is a very different format than what you're used to um, with the Cadet and Junior World Championships. And I was saying earlier today that we know how much families and friends and, and club mates and schoolmates and all of that rely up upon this broadcast to, you know, to see their young people in competition. We'll see, we're, we're, we're trying to rectify the situation. Prochenko stepping into the parry there and Gian on the board first. Oh, nice long attack there from Prochenko. Gian trying to stay, take a step out of distance and wasn't fast enough. Uh, preparation to the left and Prochenko with her second. Attack begins on the right. Prashenko looking for the parry, misses it completely. Gian with her second hit. Again, Prashenko looking for the parry. She found the blade. But Ramiz from Gian brings us level. Attack right. Pashenko, uh, I stop hit on the forearm. She unsuccessful in stepping out of distance this time. But Prize de Fair to the left. And Prochenko asking for a video review. Fikret Valiev, our referee, and one of the absolute best in Sabre.
Poroshenko, again, having trouble finding the blade there. Attack right. Gian using, using distance well that time, but didn't do anything once the attack stopped and Prashenko with the remise puts herself two points up. Ooh, ooh. Prashenko on the floor there. She lost her footing on that lunge and she looks a bit uncomfortable and I think we're going to have a visit from the medical team. Looks like she rolled her ankle. We've got the doctor out there. She's going to get some magic spray on that ankle. Shinko is, this is her final year as a junior, she's 20. Jilin still has another season to go, she's 19. So they're going to tape, it looks like they're going to tape up her ankle. The doctor is in between me and the, and the patient. We are on the floor and, and we are very, very close to the piste. So I'm going to try not to be too loud and have the fencers ask the referee to come over and tell me to pipe down. We started the day with 93 women's sabreurs. It was a furious day of action. Lots of upsets. World number one, Joanna Ilieva was looking absolutely unbeatable and then got knocked out in the round of 16 by the American fencer, Honor Johnson. Shinka was on a really nice run there. And only one away, one point away from taking us into the one minute break. Instead, we're on to a five minute injury timeout. All right, well, she looks like she's going to get her shoe on now. And they've wrapped her ankle very heavily and she seems actually quite um, tentative on it. She's going to get back up on the piste but let's see what she's able to do. Whether she's able to keep herself going 
at least to get to the timeout. But the look on her face is not one of optimism, but she is from Ukraine. And full of fire. Oh, very nice. On back line, leans back out of distance, picks up the right away, takes us to the one minute break. But she has definitely got limited mobility after that ankle roll. She'll spend a, a minute with her coach. And get her head back into the match. But I fully expect Jian Heyoung to try and take advantage of this situation and put herself into the gold medal match. We've had plenty of drama today and it's continuing as we go along. Yeah, still very tentative on that right right foot, right ankle. We start the second period, Fikrat Valiev calls him to the line. And he's changed the period to two. Get some assistance with the with the remote, and we're all set to go. Still Gian's attack. And Prashenko is going to have to rely mainly on blade work here on out. As she was able to start that attack, and finish it. Video review called by the Korean. And unfortunately, we don't have a replay to look at ourselves. Call stands. And a point will be added to the right side of the board. There we go. Shenko starting an attack, but it was attack now. And Gian picking up the right of way. Back within two. Uh, more aggressive there, but first attack no from Gian. Right of way goes to Prochenko in that previous action, but there it's just John with a parry of riposte. Attack right. So far, John Hayung unable to capitalize on her opponent's injury, but is she is through there, back to within a two-point margin. No preparation from the left. And Prashenko threw on the attack, and her ankle is really, really, really bothering her now. She's just hobbling. Call stands. And Valeria Prashenko hold on here. And if she does, will she be able to perform in, the, in a gold medal match were she to make it? Shenko just searching there. And Gian with her 10th point.
And attack now from the right. Jiyun steps in, takes the blade, brings us level. Shenka fights off that attack. Begins one of her own. Can't finish. She needs to get one hit to bring herself level, Prashenko. And that will do it. A promising start from Valeria Prashenko, but rolling her ankle when, with the score of 7-4 in the opening period and after an injury timeout, unable to finish. And it is John Hae-Yung into the gold medal match, 15-13 over